He is the most exciting young player in the NBA right now, just 20 years old. He's already an all-star and one of the top scorers in the league. Joining us tonight for his first ever late-night talk show interview here from the New Orleans Pelicans, the one, the only Zion Williamson is on the show. There he is. Zion, thank you so much for coming on the show. You're in Denver right now. You won against the Clippers. You play the Nuggets tomorrow. What do you normally get up to on a day off? What's a typical day off for you? A typical day off for me uh, is uh, traveling with the team and trying to sleep as much as possible because these, these games are coming so fast. How many hours do you think you sleep in the day? Uh, I'll probably sleep about eight to nine, and it's always spread out, really spread out. What, in the day? You'll just take it like a two-hour nap? All the time. See, that's, be, that's be... why I feel I've got what it takes. <laughs> I'm not even joking. The more I hear about... The more I hear about what it takes to be in the NBA, I feel like it fits my schedule. I do. <laughs> I just wasn't born here, so I didn't have the start that you had. Let's talk about your basketball journey. Very early on, when you were aged just five, you were playing on a team with nine-year-olds. What did the nine-year-olds think about a five-year-old just coming into their team and arguably, I imagine, being better than them? <laughs> uh, lucky enough for me, uh, I was with nine-year-olds that, uh, you know, they were real cool about it. They were real chill. So, you know, they were always helping me out. You know, they could have they could have been mean and said, you're not going to play, but, uh, you know, they showed a lot of love and I'm very appreciative for that. Well, you've got, we've got a photo here of your middle school team. This is you in the middle here, but your coach here... Is your is your mum? What was it like? What was your mum like as a coach? She's the hardest coach I've ever had. I've really? Never had someone be that tough on me. Uh, <laughs> really? Well, so tough on the whole team, or particularly tough on you? Uh, tough on the team, but uh, particularly very tough on me. <laughs> do you still get notes from your mum from afar? Like, do, does she still talk about your performances, how you've played? From afar? No, she, she'll come to my face and tell me. <laughs> She's not telling me. <laughs> what, sort of, what sort of stuff does she say? Be better. Just do better. <laughs> stuff like that. If you're ever mid-game and you know you've had, like, a particularly tough quarter or maybe you've missed a couple of shots in the back of your mind and you're like, oh, no, my mum's going to really... She's going to have something to say about that. <laughs> All the time, all the time. <laughs> but she's got, she, she's got, I mean, look, she was obviously a brilliant coach, but your mum was also a track and field star. She did the, she did the high jump. So who jumped higher? Is it you now or your mum in her heyday? You know what? Just because I love her so much, I'm gonna say my mom in her heyday. Yeah. <laughs> now, we've been talking on the show, at the start of the show, that, that I feel like, I feel like I've got everything that it takes to be a professional basketball player, and I think you can, you, I think you can, I think you can feel that. My issue is like getting the height on my jumping, which is a big part of your game. Obviously, comes down from your mother, my mum. You know, genetically, I was, I was done at the start. It's amazing the progress I've made in basketball. <laughs> what can I do to improve my jump to get more height, Zion? What do you think? What do you think's missing? Uh. I don't think you should really worry about that. I think you should stick to what you're doing right now. I think, you, I think you're amazing guy. I mean, it's difficult to come back from that, isn't it? <laughs> but, like... Cos I, like I feel like I'm getting air. Do you know what I mean? Like, let me show you. You, you look at my form, you tell me what you think I could do better. All right? Now, bear in mind, I'm British. I grew up in High Wycombe. Okay. Really, my basketball career only started a few years ago, OK? So, so if I'm receiving the ball here... So, okay. Ian, you throw me the ball. Look, just put it right in those big, big hands here, right? Bang! Here. Wait. <laughs> Be honest. Uh... Like I said, I think you're amazing at what you do. <laughs> so I'm just saying about that. Now, 
<laughs> Let's talk about your signature sneaker, which is out the Jordan Zion one. It's available in four different colorways. We've got one here. This one I love. This is called the Noah, after your little brother. Talk to me about how this, how this design, I love the soul, how this design came together. Um, the design came together because uh, when I left college, uh, I was looking for a shoe company to sign with, and I visited the Nike Jordan campus, and they gave my little brother a uh, low-top Jordan 1. Uh, it was all white, and they said, here, no, uh, create your own shoe, and they gave him a bunch of crayons. I know it's five, so like I don't know what they thought they were going to get out of him right, right then and there. Uh, so all he did was, like, with every color, just drew some scribbles on it, and a couple months later, uh, they came and showed me a shoe with a bunch of colorful scribbles on it, and I said, oh, that's dope. I, lo I mean, how excited is Noah to have a sneaker named after him? I mean, does he, does he play ball? Is he good? He must be over the moon. He, I bet he can't believe it. Uh, you know, I think any seven-year-old would uh, be super hyped about it, but uh, Noah's mind... He's like, it's supposed to happen. I'm supposed to have my own shoe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that. This other shoe, this I think is my, my favorite of the, of the four colorways. This, this is a tribute to your mom. What's the story behind this? I absolutely love these. Um, the story behind that one is, uh, you know, from the picture you showed me uh, when I was in middle school, me and those group of guys, we were really close. We uh, always talked about what we wanted to do when we got older. And, uh, you know, I always said I wanted to go to the NBA and play basketball. And they supported me, and my mom was there, uh, toughest coach I ever had. But the environment that was around us was, um, if I'm being honest, it was a tough environment to try to make it out of. So that's why the pink at the bottom of the shoe it represents the lotus flower, you know, just growing and, you know, blossoming. I love that. Be honest, Zion, right? You very kindly sent these to me in my size, right? Now I know, I know you probably didn't FedEx them yourself, but in my mind you did, okay? <laughs> Be honest, can I wear these? Yes, you can wear them. I think, I think you'll look good in them. Honestly? <laughs> Honestly. Okay, that's it, I'm wearing them tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Now obviously these are, these are Jordan, from the Jordan brand, and Michael Jordan has spoken very favorably about you as a player anytime he's been asked about you, which must be, an insane thing to hear. What, what was it like when you first met Jordan? What did you, what did you talk about? Um, I wasn't able to talk. We weren't able to talk much, much because uh, it was at, like one of his Jordan uh, Jordan brand parties. Uh, and there was like 100, 200 people just floating around him. Yeah. But man, seeing him was like seeing like a black Jesus. Like <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, was, it was crazy. Like being in the same room as him that. You know, he just told me, uh, just keep working and be yourself, and that's going to take you a long way. But in my mind, I'm looking at my mom like, I just met Mike. I just met Mike. Like, it, it, so must be, it must be incredible to hear the way he talks about you as a player, and rightly so. What you're doing this season, I think what you're going to do in the future, is, is absolutely extraordinary. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jordan Zion 1 is available... Thursday with new colorways coming next month. Stick around. Zion's going to be here when we come back. Make sure you are too.